It's Sean from SGTReport.tv and SGTReport.com here. It's 11.30 p.m. Central Time as I record this, and it's my patriotic duty to share this video with you. Have you heard the terms the hammer and scorecard yet? Well, if you haven't, you're going to be hearing a lot more about those terms. And in fact, at the end of this video, you're going to hear those terms spoken by General Flynn's attorney, Sidney Powell herself. What you're about to see is the single most egregious real-time example of electronic vote fraud maybe ever captured, and it occurred live on CNN. I would ask anyone watching this video to rip it, re-upload it, share it, tweet it, and email it to CNN and to anyone on President Trump's team. The mainstream media and big tech continue to claim there is no evidence of vote or election fraud in this election. And that's because they are co-conspirators in this treason. This is an interview between L. Todd Wood and voter fraud researcher Russell Ramsland. And below this video, I will leave a link to the full interview so you can hear many more examples of electronic vote fraud captured by Russell Ramsland. This is some amazing video um, that you're seeing from CNN election night. And I want to go back and show you a little bit about this clip. First, I want to explain what's happening in this clip. Um, what's happening in this clip is this is the live feed from Clarity Elections coming through the Associated Desk or Decision Desk HQ. So this is the live feed. You're seeing the database that Clarity has as it gets updated with votes, okay? And right now, oh, and this little ribbon at the bottom this is generated by CNN, and they update this a second after they get the update from Clarity up here. So let's just look. Right now, Andy Bashir, who is the guy that upset Matt Bevan, the governor at the time, Andy Bashir has 673,948 votes. That ties to what the ribbon from CNN says. Same thing with Matt Bevin, 662, 235, 662, 235. Now, let me take you through, and, and real quick, I'm going to run it again. You're going to see, if you're watching just this gold, you're going to see a flash update, and then this guy's face fills the page, and then I'm going to show you what you really missed. So here we go. Watch the gold. The update's coming. Boom, there it updates, and now here's this guy. Now, let me show you what you missed. We're going to drag this back frame by frame. And so here we are before the update. And now I'm going to start walking you forward. Watch the gold. Here comes the update from Clarity. Boom. There it is. So now the update, Matt Bashir, uh, excuse me, Andy Bashir has 674,508 votes. And look down below, Andy Bashir had 673,948. They haven't had a chance to update the ribbon because this is in split seconds we're looking now. So Andy Bashir has just gained 560 votes. That makes sense. That's what happens as more votes come in, right? Let's look at Matt Bevan. He now has 661, 675. But look down below. He did have 662, 235. At the exact same second that Andy Bashir has gone up 560 votes, Matt Bevan has gone down 560 votes. This is vote switching in the computer. And by the way, between the 560 gain and 560 loss, you have just seen 25% of the loss amount of this race happen in front of your very eyes. Uh, we just heard from John Solomon that the FBI indeed is being diligent, is involved, and we all hope he is exactly right. Uh, your thoughts first about the, the knowledge now that uh, the Justice Department is involved in this uh, review of the election. 
Well, I'm delighted to hear that. I think there are any number of things they need to investigate, including the likelihood that 3% of the vote total was changed in the pre-election voting ballots that were collected digitally by using the Hammer program and a software program called Scorecard. That would have amounted to a massive change in the vote that would have gone across the country and explains a lot of what we're seeing. In addition, they ran an algorithm to calculate votes they might need to come up with for Mr. Biden in specific areas. I think that explains what happened in Michigan, where the computer glitch resulted in a change of votes of uh, about 5,500 in favor of President Trump, just in one of 47 districts. All those districts need to be checked for that same, quote, software glitch, end quote, that would change the result in Michigan dramatically. Um, the same thing is happening in other states. We've had hundreds of thousands of ballots mysteriously appear for uh, solely for Mr. Biden, which is statistically impossible as a matter of mathematics. It, it can all be documented. We are putting it into materials that we will file in federal court, and we need to seek relief in multiple states to enjoin the certification of any election results.